The RCUK open access policy comes into effect from the 1st of April 2013. The policy states that all publicly funded research must be made open access. So the research councils are following the recognition that the government accepted all of the recommendations from the Finch report and we are now in the throes of implementing those recommendations. We expect the researchers that we fund uh, through the research councils to abide by the conditions of the policy and that basically is that they'll be expected to publish in journals which are compliant with our policy on open access. Open access means that there are no barriers to the research, no paywalls, all research content is made freely and openly available to anyone around the world. If your research is publicly funded, you will need to publish using either the gold or green routes to open access. Gold allows for full open access to research immediately on publication. The costs of this are usually covered by an article processing charge or APC. Green achieves open access by depositing articles in a repository, typically, but not always, after an embargo period. The new policy requires a minimum embargo period of six months and up to a maximum of 12 in certain disciplines. Allowances on embargo times may be allowed if funds are not available to cover APCs. An article processing charge is a fee that pays for the processing and publication of the article. This includes the editorial and production process, as well as ensuring safe and efficient hosting and distribution, ensuring research is widely read and cited. If RCUK is funding your research, it must be unrestricted, which means using a CC BY license. CC BY is a Creative Commons license that allows full use and reuse rights to everyone, as long as the work is attributed to the original authors and from the 1st of April we will be expecting researchers to move towards compliance with the policy on open access. Given the preference for gold open access with the CC BY license, we prefer authors to publish with gold CC BY if there is money available in the institutional block grants that have been given and if the journal for whatever reason that they choose to publish in does not make available gold open access we then require that the material is made available publicly through green open access, whether in the institute's depository, the author's own website or the publisher's repository. Open access is important because there are people all around the world working on important scientific and medical questions. It's important that their research isn't held back by the fact that they don't have access to information that other people have published and research that other people have done. Similarly, there are people who suffer from medical conditions who need information about the medical conditions. Making that information available across the world to whoever needs it is a very important thing to do. So, of course, the open access movement is not of especially recent origin, but what is of comparatively recent origin is the recognition that it would be highly desirable for all of the research that the taxpayer has paid for to be available to the taxpayer. And open access is one way of removing the majority of barriers to the research. So not only is it free to read, you know, in our view of an open access world, and we very much have a preference for gold because we think it delivers a better quality of open access. From an academic perspective, open access offers some enormous advantages. The number of papers being published per minute in biomedicine alone, in other words appearing as abstracts in PubMed, is two per minute, about a million a year. The number of peer-reviewed papers being published in the sciences and arts as a whole is about five papers per minute. Clearly no individual can read these and therefore you're not being going to be able to buy the best science by having access to all the material that is available that might inform your researches. However, computers can of course exactly read all these kinds of papers and by the techniques of text mining, data mining and the like, present researchers with the facts in a much more easy to understand way but that, of course, requires that the computers themselves are licensed to read the papers. In other words, that there is open access. The new open access policy from RCUK, which comes into effect in April 2013, strongly encourages researchers to consider a fully open access option when publishing their research. So publishing one of Biomed Central's open access journals ensures that those articles are available in their final published form 
without any barriers to access immediately on publication. It's the licence we use for open access, the CC BY, so it's just more than open access as free to read, it's open access as free to reuse. And we just think that's going to deliver so many exciting potential benefits to, to scholarship. You know, it's, it's, a, it's really worth exploring and really worth supporting. Biomed Central, Chemistry Central and Springer Open have over 360 open access journals. All articles are published CC BY and are fully compliant with the RC UK open access policy.